After nearly a decade, United Airlines decided it was time for a change, and this week it updated what's known as its livery, the paint job on the outside of the plane. That comes as a growing number of airliners are decked out in colors meant to stand out from the rest. As our transportation correspondent Chris Van Cleve found out, airlines take their outward appearance very seriously, sometimes spending years honing the right look. But they also can be a piece of flying art. When United Airlines brought up the lights on its new look, it was a change years in the making. And for the plane, it took nine days to get the old paint stripped away and the new look to come to life thanks to 134 gallons of paint. The tail and its globe now boast three shades of blue. The name United got bigger and bolder. The gold line along the bottom is out and it's in with the new blue swoop. It symbolizes who we are about connecting people and uniting the world. United CEO Oscar Munoz. We are a much more energetic and exciting airline than we were a few years ago. So everything we've done symbolizes something about the spirit of, of United that we're trying to create. When United and Continental merged in 2010, they kept the United name and the Continental paint job. It was the fastest way to get all the planes to say United. But the look dates back to 1991, though it did come with its own theme song. Airlines want to stand out in a crowd. This is why they invest time and money to make their planes look good. Industry analyst Henry Hartevelt attended the unveiling. He points out airlines have been at the forefront of design with their memorable logos and looks for decades. Think Pan Am or TWA. Depend on TWA. Logos that live on long after the airlines. It matters more to the airline than and to its employees than the traveler. Travelers tend to pick an airline for more pragmatic reasons, on time performance, destination price. An airline wants to look good, they want you to feel good uh, about what you're buying. For airlines, their livery is a globe-trotting billboard, usually for themselves, but sometimes for a movie or even Hello Kitty. But it can also be a flying canvas, rising like a Renoir against the sky. Pieces of airborne art painstakingly hand-painted by a dozen or more people. After Southwest became the number one carrier in Louisiana, this 737 spent nearly 12 days and 1,900 man hours being turned into a flying state flag. Its Pelican has a wingspan of 82 feet. Louisiana One is the 12th Southwest state-themed plane. American wanted to recognize its roots, painting a plane in the colors of every airline that came together to make the world's largest carrier. One 737 will carry the airline's old tri-bar look, Others include icons of the past, TWA, U.S. Air, and America West. Keeping those old looks flying also protects Americans' copyright on those brands. But perhaps the Picasso of plain painting is JetBlue. They have nearly a dozen different tail fin designs and 17 planes sporting unique looks from sports teams to blueprints. It is art in the sky. It's art on the ground. It brings a lot of joy to our customers and to our crew members. VP of Marketing Elizabeth Windrum is kind of JetBlue's patron of the arts. So you have to paint a plane anyway. You might as well do something really fun with it that brings a little bit of joy. People don't want to take a flight. They want to fly. When the airline decided to fly to Palm Springs, they wanted to go retro. But JetBlue isn't even 20 yet, so they couldn't just Van Gogh back in time. A lot of airlines have retro jets. We aren't able to have a retro jet, and we said, sure, we can if we use our imagination. So we had to sort of reverse engineer and imagine what JetBlue would have looked like if we had been around in the 1960s. United's new look will roll out over the next several years. The cost to paint a plane varies by size, but can top $100,000. And once you paint the plane, you better like it, because that paint job is going to be around for at least seven years. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Chris Van Cleve, Reagan National Airport. I still remember in the 70s when Braniff had Alexander Calder, the artist, design all the art in his planes. They called them flying colors, and it, it made them stand out. I remember the PSA smile <laughs> in front. I loved it. <laughs>